Hi guys, last time we did uh, an unboxing of the Siege expansion. So it makes sense this time to do something that is connected to the Siege expansion and it is called uh, the Siege Equipment Box plus a few other things I'm sure you'll be excited about. So what is this? To, to start with, this little box uh, is, is just a, a little add-on that we, we, we added uh, for people who wanted to create uh, an army uh, based on one uh, expansion, uh, in this case it was uh, Siege. So it doesn't come with a scenario, it's just extra minis that you will be able to add when you go uh, with the battle mode. Uh, so let's open and see. Trebuchet and Bombard. So three Bombards, two Trebuchet and two Ballistas and Oh, what did I say? Three, these are culverines, two bombards, two ballistas, and two trebuchet, plus a new uh, battle ram, some new pavis shields, so to protect your units. And of course, uh, the men with them, <laughs> coming with it. So it's, it's, it's great because it will... It will add more minis, so it's really what you had in the siege box, but more. Uh, if, if you want to to do a you know a, a siege army, you will be able to do that. Let me show you the cards. So you have sappers. Well, okay. Let me show you that in 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 English, and then yes, we have of course the equivalent in French. So the sappers. You know, these guys come and uh, can dig holes and put explosives, for instance, or... So the Ballista, you have the Bombard, so that's, these are extra cards, so that will be useful also. Uh, yes, these are Hacubutiers, Hacubutiers, Hacubutier in French. <laughs> so these are the first guys who had like fire weapons. The trebuchet, of course, you, you've seen them. The artillerymen, so the, 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 the servants that will come with these uh, machines. The culverine, the pavis shield, and the battering ram. So you have them in French and in English. So it's a very little expansion. We, we wanted to to be able, for, for those who wanted like big, big, big uh, siege uh, army, then you can do that. So this was the first of the two very, very little expansions that we have. They do not come with uh, uh, a colored box like usually they come in this uh, little box, but the purpose was really to add to what you already have uh, uh, in the siege equipment. And this time, this is the Automat army. You know that uh, in the reliquary box, you have uh, Ottomans, and for those who wanted to do a full Ottoman army, there, was pro there were probably not enough men. So with this expansion, you will have it. More soldiers, more horses, more heroes, and of course, more Ottoman cannons. So you have cavalry, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 cavalry. Plenty of men that you can see here. Let me open some. If I can. These are Janissaries, I think. Yes, they look great. I'll put them here. You have also some uh, archers. They look cool, and 
yes, on the other side, we can see that. And you have some servants also, and some uh, some other kinds of warriors. somewhere yes here with the, the Ottoman cannons let me show them with the servants Yes, here you are. So yeah, all in all, you see you have plenty of new little men. So you will be, with the Ottoman uh, expansion, you will really be able to create a full Ottoman army. And in the battle mode, you will soon have all everything to do that. Uh, let me show you the, the cards. So again, in English and in French, so the mounted bowmen, we have mounted bowmen uh, for the Ottoman. We have the artillerymen with the, the servant that I put just uh, that you just saw. You have uh, the, the cannon. Then you have the same cards in French. Then you have some uh, heroes. I'm not going to try and pronounce their name. <laughs> Lala Sachin Pasha. <laughs> This one is uh, Yildirim uh, Bayezid, <laughs> another hero. And yes, you have both of these heroes, new Ottoman heroes. So now you really can do uh, a full army. So these are the two uh, expansions. Didn't show you, but yeah, these are all the men uh, on the siege equipment. So plenty of new, of new men, of new servants and, uh, and sappers. But then, there's something I'm really, really excited to show to you. It's the Compendium. The Compendium is the ideal book to enter this universe. I was so expecting to receive it. We just received it. It's going to on wave two, and I want to show you what it will be. So, we have two of them, one in, in French and one in English. I will show you a little bit of the English one. So we will just discover it together. This is how you will receive it. So the Compendium is really the perfect companion. Well, the layout is, is great and you will see that you have art and a little bit of background for the characters. Look at that. Sometimes you have like full spread pages, sometimes double page spread with Gorgeous art. This is by Ahu. Uh, you have the the different units you're familiar with. The Leviathan, the skeleton. Oh, this is double spread here. You have something about Jean de Luxembourg who is here. So you you will learn things. Uh, Robert Knowles. This is Henry V. Uh, one of my favorite uh, piece of art. Yes, the siege. So yes, also. You'll have uh, all the art, uh, Jean II the Good, so a French king. Then you have the Ottomans and Mehmet II, and the, the Jinn, the Janissaries, or the Ifrit, not the Jinn, uh, the Four Horsemen of uh, the Apocalypse. Oh, the Sacred Relic, I love this piece of art as well. Then we have stories, short stories you can, you can read. So we, we had that during the Kickstarter, if you remember, but now we have edited it and we have, yes, and we have put some art. So this is also something you can read. Uh, you have uh, the painting guide with the Tarasque, uh, with the 
how to fast paint, paint some uh, uh, soldiers, how to paint a shield, how to paint uh, a ghost, how to paint, you know, um, a knight with a non-metallic uh, metal technique. And then you have like the gallery. It's a gallery of painted minis. And look at those pages, look at. Oh, we have a, an article about heraldry also, uh, for those who want to know how to paint and why to choose uh, this pattern, these colors and, 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 and all that. So it's, it's all written with some examples of famous knights as well. You also have something on uh, scenery, how to create your own 3D scenery, if you want it, uh, Joan of Arc scenery. So with a step-by-step -step, uh, article. And then, of course, uh, a campaign. It's a big campaign that will follow all of Joan of Arc's, uh, all of Joan of Arc's story. So some of the, uh, in, in this campaign, some of the stories uh, you play, or of the scenarios you play, are in the book, in, uh, in the core book. Uh, some optional scenarios are in the super exclusive, and then all of the, the other scenarios uh, are here in this book. So in the end, you can play all of these scenarios for a full campaign that will tell the, the whole story of Joan of Arc. And yes, so this is in the castle. So for this scenario, you also have something here that you will play on. So this is a little map, a paper map uh, that you will play uh, on. So you will put your little soldiers there, you see. So this is a, a scenario where she has to, to find where the king is among uh, the court. Ah, so another scenario. And in the end, you will see whether uh, Joan of Arc uh, survives or is, is burnt. You can change the course of history with this campaign. And of course, we have that in French as well. Just so if you chose to receive it, in French, you will receive it in French. If you choose in English, you will have it in English. So that's it for today. We have more uh, unboxing videos to come, so check it out.